Welcome to You Be The Judge, where the objective of this show is to put it out there and let you be the judge. I know everybody got their beliefs, but don't hate on mine. Now check out this content. I'm just getting paid. I do this every day. I'm a black American, you know, star spangled. But anyway, um, today we're going to break down Independence Day. You know, we're going to break down 1863. Uh, we're going to break down how I feel about the black culture and what we mean to the United States of America. Uh, and we just going to go in. Uh, let me start off by uh, saying that national anthem. I'm not singing that. I can't do it. Read the history on the person who wrote that. And, you know, Professor Black Truth, man, he, you know, he's so informative. Yeah. But people like that I listen to. I have to say, you know, black Americans have fought in every war. We defended this country in every war. I want you to ask all the people that come to this country what war they fought in for this country. They talk so much about what America needs, what black people need. We fought for this country. That's a patriot, right? That's an American, right? Black American. So the point I'm, I'm making is, you know, they're going to turn this into a old oh, white man freed the slaves and all this old stuff. They just, you know, made another way to profit off of them. You know, then they twist this stuff up, start making people that was uh, bootleg slaves and the uh, slaves with power, you know, so they start. It was all tight. That's why we had so many revolts. They don't talk about the revolts that we've had where black Americans were fed up with this Constitution. And people to this day are fed up with the Constitution because now everyone's seeing both sides of the evil. Both sides, you know, it's, it's either or, you know, and people are always, oh, well, this person, that person. One thing I will say, we've had a dose of Joe Biden not supporting him. We've had little dose of Donald Trump, but we know he's a, 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 a compulsive liar, not voting for him. Neither one of them have black Americans best interests in mind. That's why I wore this hat because I'm an I'm American. I'm a black American. I'm not an immigrant. I didn't immigrate here. Okay. So I want y'all to ask these um, people, uh, immigrants that come here, what war they fought in for America. Half the time they come here and don't even register to, uh, to the army or Navy or none. They just come over here and, and, and benefit off the fruits of our labor. Half the time they don't even enlist. And I'm telling you, they just come over here and piggyback tether, whatever words you want to use, um, to better their circumstance in their family. So again, independence day to me, is man, how can I, I mean, it's, it's a day to remember that we were not free and we're still not free. We have a system going on here now with all these people like Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's and Donald Trump's and all his whole cabinet or well, all the Supreme court people we put up there. It's so much, uh, performative shit going on. And how does any of this stuff that they talking about benefit us? It don't. Did you hear Biden or Trump say anything tangible that they was going to do for black people when they had that little debate shit? And I'm going to do a podcast on that. I got one coming. I, I got I'm waking Joe, uh, Joe Biden game up. Trump, too. I don't like neither one of them. And there's no dark horse in this. There's no candidate that you can be like, let me get behind him because half of them are perform performative. Like I said, both parties. What I will say, though, and y'all got to respect me for this. If either one of those parties, Democrat, Republican, conservative, whatever, come out and say, I'm pushing for reparations and we're going to get it, I'm going to rock with them. I don't care what party, if they talking about reparations, I can deal with the rest. I can deal with white supremacy when I got land. On um, this day, 1863, um, what they call a white man's war that black Americans fought in. Um, that was the first one. And when we came here and we fought for this country, I'm just getting paid. I'm I believe in my eyes that black people are definitely black American patriots based on the fact that we fought in every war for our country. You know, a lot of people come here, they haven't even had a chance to fight for America. Think about that. All these people come here from other countries or wherever else they come from. They haven't had a chance to fight for this country. We have. We fought for this country since day one, right? 
read about it, Google it, whatever. And they try to, you know, put it on America great. Like it's a white person's thing, white, nah. We've been great under all circumstances. And today, more, uh, the fact that we're not totally free, uh, we're still being oppressed in so many different ways. You know, this government has a plan for black Americans and that's to keep us oppressed. Think about it. When you go to work, when you go to the gas station, when you talk about child care, how many black people probably got their mother, maybe their sister, somebody taking care of their kids while they go to work? Child care is, is still not affordable, especially for the average black family. And they keep trying to do these household numbers. They all, oh, how much to a household? For most black people, it's one or two. They always talk about them single mothers. So that household is pretty small. So the income is going to be small. When you've got other people with a household that's full, the income is going to be different. If you got six, seven people in a house and they all working, that income household is going to be different. But when you got a single mother, I'm just blowing y'all wig back, huh? I'm serious. Fourth of July, right? But I'm just telling y'all the truth from uh, my heart. This country doesn't love black Americans. It may love everyone else. And we fought in every war. Every single one, man, for this country, man. Every single one. We have had Buffalo soldiers, Tuskegee Airmen. You think of it. We've affected this this whole country in so many ways, man. Y'all look at man. They they. If you watch TV, who are they trying to be? Who who does everybody try to model after of when it comes to TV? And we always get talked about the most. Black people. You see how they dress, how they talk. They always want to use the word. They can't wait to be able to use that word. They can't wait to meet the right friend to be able to use that word. You ain't using it around me. I don't care how close of a friend you are. You better not say it. The fact that we have fought in every single war says that we want to be here. Says that this, we're fighting for our land. That's what that says about us. We're not going anywhere. Don't throw that. Oh, go back. If you don't like it, go back where? How many allies do black people got? Even in this country, we got the Nation of Islam. We got Black Panther parties. That's what we. That's what we got. We don't got allies outside this country. They got their own military, uh, economic system. Every group, every group, even here, they got some they can go to. Whole another uh, government, whole another democracy, whatever you want to call. It. They can go back to another one if they get sick of America, because they're not gonna fight for it. See, that's the thing about it. Ask them how many wars have their family fought in in America when they immigrated here. Ask them, hey, how many wars did your family fight in once they came here? Because that was the purpose, right? To make America great, right? What did y'all do? Everybody black got an uncle, cousin, auntie that been in the military army that fought for this country to make a better way for their family. And they were risking their lives, going out there every day, risking their lives for this country. And then they people get oppressed. How does that sound? You go fight for a country and you come back to your home and people can barely afford food. I'm just saying. But uh, you be the judge, man. I'm out. Okay, so I just put it out there and you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to hate on your content, so don't hate on mine. All right, y'all. I'm just getting paid. I do this every day. Hey.